Moving on, the Kenya National Commission on Human Rights, KNCHR, has applauded the Independent Electoral and Boundaries Commission, IBC, for creating and improving its systems over time and creating a robust electoral process in the country. Speaking while releasing the key findings on the 2022 General Election Report, KNCHR Chairperson Roslyn Odede said Kenya has made tremendous strides in electoral matters, noting that there were fewer human rights violations compared to other elections in the country. She, however, pointed out 28 incidents of election malpractices by IBC officials that range from issuance of more ballot papers to voters to some IBC officials colluding with politicians during voting exercise. Ladies and gentlemen, Monday marked three weeks since the Supreme Court of Kenya rendered its judgment on the presidential petition. The Kenyan National Commission on Human Rights have now released findings on the election monitoring and observation on the just concluded elections. In their findings, the commission discovered that there was a rise in cases of insecurity in parts of Lamu, Garissa, Marsabit, Baringo, Elgeo, Marquette, Mandera, Nakuru, Turkana, and West Pokot, which negatively affected Kenyans' rights to vote and equally affected campaigns. While the government took measures to enhance security in those areas, the Commission notes that insecurity impedes citizens' democratic rights and the right to vote and be voted for is affected. Further, the right to association, assembly, movement and expression are also impacted negatively. And as a result, the Commission noted a reduction in campaign activities in those areas and an increase in criminal cases. Uh, this Additionally, the Commission also monitored that there were 28 incidents of election malpractices by IEBC officials, which included issuance of more than one ballot paper to voters and collusion with politicians during the voting exercise. The affixing of the results form at the polling station facilitates the verification and increases transparency. KNCHR Chairperson Roslyn Odeda also said 33 cases of violence targeting poll centers and officials across the country were witnessed. The cases of violence include misuse of firearms by civilians, physical violence, and destruction of election materials, a matter that Odeda noted impacts the integrity of election. The Commission has consistently spoken out against and continues to decry the violence, intimidation, harassment, threats, and intimidation of election officials. Such conduct impacts the integrity of the process. At the same time, inflammatory speeches in political gatherings and media, according to the Commission, inflicted fear among us voters. The Commission further noted that in the pre-election period, during campaigns, there was undue influence on voters through distribution of branded relief food and money. Now, elections are the litmus test for a true democratic political system. Democracy is affected if the will of the people is either bought or manipulated through inducements. The Elections Offenses Act prohibits any form of inducement of voters to either attend, participate, or refrain in any political activity. During the monitoring exercise, the, the Commission documented 193 cases of inducements and undue influence of voters. At 182 cases were attributed to the campaign period, while 11 were observed on polling day. Grace Wangoi for Optivini's Watch.